Brand Sussex. So determined are they to make their own way in the world and denounce all things royal in their search for privacy. <laughs> They've clung onto their titles and monetized pretty much any aspect of royal life and gone on a global whinge fest. They've used their connection with royalty to bag an interview with Oprah. Let's face it, no one would have been interested otherwise. They've believed their own hype and created books, documentaries and a podcast, all of which received initial success because, well, they're royal. Although most weren't interested beyond that as they've been dropped by Spotify and Netflix are likely to follow suit. So Brown Sussex has gone online, launching a new website using, yes, you've guessed it, their royal title Sussex and the royal crest. The site Sussex.com replacing Archwell. Palace insiders, uh, not too impressed by it, complained. They're going to have real trouble with the use of Sussex, they said. It is a royal title, and if there is any hint of commercialism about this, it will be shut down. It's just staggering. They cannot see how much gauche it is, or how gauche it is. Well, I suspect the Duke and Duchess will argue it's their last name and their family name. But I'm not sure how they're going to uh, get around using the royal crest. On the site, the Duke is described as a humanitarian... A military veteran, mental health advocate and an environmental campaigner. Meghan, described as a feminist and champion of human rights and gender equality. Really? Humanitarian? Human rights? Don't make me laugh. That would suggest an element of compassion. And it's time for Meghan and Harry to show some. As many are questioning whether they have the capacity for it. What with Harry Hoff hot-footing it across the Atlantic for all of... 45 minutes to see his sick father. Doesn't look great, does it? So that he could get back in time to present a fake and glitzy Z-list event without even mentioning his dad, which looks pretty ugly. And Meghan not bothering to see her father after his stroke. They've got everything. Looks, talent and wealth. They have the perfect family with two beautiful, healthy children, a boy and a girl. They live in the lu of luxury, unlike 99.9% .9 of the rest of us. Money is no object. What's wrong with these people that they are so unable to acknowledge their privilege? Even ill health of family members isn't enough to shake them from their trance of self-pity. They've had to change Archwell to Sussex because, frankly, other than their royal credentials, they're really not that interesting.